I got a hit from the device you put on Frank Pagani's car, which means he's back in town. <laughs> bet he's pretty excited to make your acquaintance. I bet he is. <laughs> Signal's clean so you can take it from here. Just use the tracker I gave you. Catch you later. Looks like the place.
Jones when he grow up? Go back, it looks like he's aged 20 years. Between Castro, the coon, and the 50 G's of bad paper. Huh? What the? Listen here, asshole. I want you to close your goddamn mouth and open your fucking ears. What we got ain't money. It's toilet paper. So unless you got the shits from your mama's bed cooking, there ain't nothing here for you. Did anything to you? Saw some interesting stuff back there. Counterfeit money, a press. Only thing I can't figure out is a connection to Cuba. Please. I'm all busted up inside. I need a doctor. I got a wife and three little girls. Hey, you want a doctor? Then you better tell me something worth hearing. Listen, what you saw. Sal set all that up. None of the money was worth a shit, though. They had me bring in a man named Alvarez, counterfeiter who works for Castro. He give you the plates, too? Plates? I thought you knew. On account of robbery. Robbery? Uh, Mokano wanted the plates from the Federal Reserve. How do I find Alvarez? Uh, how? Well, one of Tommy's guys picked him up. Was 10, 15 minutes before you showed up. Where are they taking him? Uh, Where? Huh? My little girls. No. Uh. Fuck! I spent the last 48 years pursuing Lincoln Clay because he's a criminal. It's horrible what happened to him, but you know something? I think that when Sammy Ellis and Danny Burke were killed, it revealed who Lincoln Clay really was, a monster. There he 
we are, lad. Looking forward to seeing where this shade goes. This is our first step toward breaking Marcano and taking over the city. I hear what y'all got to say, but I decide who gets the turf. And in the end, my decision is final. Your decision? Listen here. You put my men on the front line and locking down the action, I consider your decision fucking made. Ain't nothing to discuss. That ain't exactly true. Because doling out pieces of the city is a hell of a lot bigger deal than having a couple of meatheads lock down some action. All I'm saying. First, I'm hearing of any action in this part of the city, which is fine, but it don't change my stance that this turf ought to come to me. You trusted me this far, Lankin. No sense changing course now. The Haitians will run this part of the city. All right. I'll make sure our people are coordinating things between the holla and here. That's the way you see it, fine. But I'll be looking for the next district to come my way. As for me, I'll be biding my time and waiting for one of you assholes to fuck up. Fair warning. <laughs> We're done for now. You'll hear from me if I need you. Look, I gave you some names, and I'm paying you to chase them down, so don't give me any of that bullshit. Yeah, okay, just get it done. Christ, sometimes I think you want something done right. You all right? The nighty. Sammy was so happy. Happier than I ever seen him. That money was supposed to get him, get all of us out from under Marcano. Mother what the hell did Frank tell you? Marcano had us rob the reserve so we could get his hand on a set of money plates. Georgie must have grabbed him during the robbery. I should have been paying attention. We already had this conversation. None of this is your fault. Like hell it isn't. Sal is a cancer. A leech. He had always intended to fuck all of you. Christ, look what he did to Vito. He murdered your family. The only way to make that right is by killing every cocksucker who's ever looked at that piece of shit. Give me some of that bourbon. According to Pagani, Marcano couldn't print the money himself. So he had a Cuban counterfeiter named Alvarez brought in. What do we know about South Downs? Tommy Marcano isn't the kind of guy who shits where he eats. So his rackets are pretty low key. He runs a sports book and has a place where he stores his contraband. Tommy's got to know that I'm coming after Alvarez, so he's probably got him holed up in or near one of those places. One way or another, I'll get my hands on him. I'll be damned if I let Marcano print a single fucking dollar from one of those plates. 